Hello YouTube. Some guy over 40 here coming back at you with another video. This is a follow-up on the previous video about installing the intake, the aluminum intake. And uh, I have not yet started the truck yet. <clears throat> right now it's charging. I'm charging up the battery. Try to get a good full charge on it. But right now I want to show you how I mix the uh, oil and gas. I'm going to try to use up the rest of this gas right here. Alright, I'm going to only do a liter at a time. So we're going to go 25, I like this from from Walmart here. It shows you one liter then a half a liter. I just noticed a half liter mark. I'm going to do a full liter today. So what I do is I put the tube down in there and I pull until I get 25 to 1. Okay. There's my 25 to 1 right there. So I squirt that in just like that. There's a, probably a quadzillion different ways of mixing mixing it, but whatever which way at least it gets done. Okay, so now we put this back. I had a friend of mine that recommended this Caster 927 racing formula. He said this is probably the best out there. And as you can tell, I bought another one, a much bigger one, because <laughs> I thought it was going to be doing a lot of running. But things happen. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to mix my gas. That's a 93 octane. And I wrote on there low C. So we're going to go to the one liter mark. A little bit more. Okay, there's the one liter mark. And this is the reason why I wear gloves. I just, that smell of gas gets on my hands and I take it inside and everybody will start complaining they smell gas. <coughs> so... And guess what, everybody? Stuff falls to the ground. <laughs> That's one thing you're going to notice on my videos. You can always depend on that. It always will happen. I will drop something. Gravity is not my friend. Okay, so we'll get that all tightened up. I think this is a, yeah, this is a two gallon gas can. And I probably have a gallon left after this. Yeah, it's right about there. And I put this back over here. So, because I had another subscriber of mine said, don't buy it that much fuel, buy it by the gallon or half gallons. Which I could see his point. So I'm going to take one of these quarter inch Dell rods. And I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Mm -mm. Looks good. Get it all mixed up nice. <clears throat> and then uh, 
I get my bottle here. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill the truck up. We're going to turn this over like so. We're going to fill the truck up with fuel. Put that there. Even though it has fuel in it, I always wipe things off. I don't want anything, any dirt get in it. Squeeze the bottle. Go like that. So I got a little bit. I don't know why I want to get a little bit. Fill up the tank. I don't even know this thing's gonna run, <laughs> to be honest with you. Drink up there, buddy. Drink up. Okay, so we got a full tank of fresh fuel. Now I like to put the rest into here. Usually I have no problems doing this. It's because I'm filming, that's why. Slowly but surely. But that's how I do it. It's probably not the proper way again. But I don't think there is a right and wrong way. As long as you mix it right. And then I have some extra. <clears throat> I wonder if I can undo that cap and just pour the rest in there. Oh my god. Oh. I don't think that thing's supposed to come back out. All right, no biggie. All righty. Oh, I got to put it in there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now it's just a splash in there. We'll get rid of the splash here. There we go. Environmental friendly. <laughs> All right, so well, that took eight minutes. <laughs> All righty, guys. Well, what do you think it's gonna do? Is it gonna start? I don't think so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this over here like this. Get my stepping stool out. Put that there. And we're going to unplug the charger here. I'm not going to run it, run it. So there's plenty of charge on it. We'll start the radio. It's on the low CDBXL. And we'll go ahead and start the truck up. We have that. <clears throat> Leave the radio right there. Okay, it's gonna be the first time starting it. I gotta put fuel in the bubble here. The ball. All right. There goes nothing. <laughs> we got the choke on. We're gonna do a couple pulls. Yeah, it's not going to start. See, there's a lot of 
compression I can lift the truck up there it is I told you <laughs> it will not start at all we have fresh gas we have spark the carburetor is adjusted like the previous videos Whew. let me turn in that screw the idling screw I forgot to turn that in we'll just turn that in a little bit here try it again And nothing. I knew it. <laughs> That's just my luck. Somebody else says, well, it could be. <laughs> How about buying some more parts? How about the coil itself? Let's buy that next. Yeah, the pool starter, I oiled the heck out of it that day with this uh, silicone lubricant and I tell you what it doesn't work like a pro for sure oh my god alright let's take the plug out I don't even know why <laughs> let's see if we got spark again but we should that servo makes a lot of noise and I set the endpoints. Okay, see, it got it soaked. The plug is soaked. So, see, yeah, the plug is soaked. So, it looks like it is. I wipe all that junk off. But that shouldn't be flooded <laughs> All right, this, <clears throat> this is driving me insane let's see if we got spark everybody see the spark we got spark I don't know if you guys can see that or not let me get down closer We got spark. Oh my god. This is torture. Like I said, I, I have hundreds of dollars in this project here. And I only ran it like twice, three times since I got it. That was like eight, nine months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got spark. You know. Well, I wonder if I put a brand new spark, another brand new spark plug in it. Oh, hell, they're only eight bucks a piece. This is what fries my ass. Well, let's, let's see this plug here. This is the one from, uh, oh, Lowe's. Holy smoke. Yeah, see, that one has a lot of spark. Let's put this one in. I was recommended this too. It probably won't run. I don't care anymore. It's driving me insane. Shut up, radio. Guess what? This plug's going right in the garbage. 
put a brand new plug in it. It must have died. But look at that. One pull fired right up. Let's try this again. This is unbelievable, guys. It sounds a heck of a lot better. do it anyways <laughs> well she's smoking pretty good I can't believe she's running can't go up the tree. <laughs> I definitely got to adjust those brakes. Yeah, it seems like I got a lot more smoke this time. Well, guys. 
size, it's amazing. Maybe in between the intake and the spark plug. Everything looks great on it. And it's idling pretty decent. tank of fuel but it's getting kind of late out here Kind of hoping that pipe would be quieter. As you can see, my neighbors are right there, right there, right there, and right there. Take her back into the workshop. Let's see if the kill switch works. Yep, works great. Oh, this thing's a heavy monster. <clears throat> okay. Holy smokes, guys. To my surprise, it started up with that first pull with the new plug in it. And like I said, I bought these brand new plugs. And I guess they fouled pretty quickly. So I don't know if this was any good. I opened up so many plugs. Yeah, see, there's another one. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to keep them a new one on hand that looks like I gotta buy some more of those which is a good thing since this thing is running now I cannot believe this finally I guess this is the pain that you have when you're owning a fifth scale yeah another guy that I watch on YouTube he has two of these and he's having some issues and he, he has a lot more money than I do in it and uh yeah i don't know what else to say here it's amazing i should put the body back on it and just beat the piss out of it and i know as soon as i put that body on the thing wouldn't start then i gotta take it all back off again and but yeah putting that body on again is a pain in the butt cheeks Ugh. Okay, let's pick this big baby up here. All right. Good girl. You finally start running. Fresh tank of gas. It's awesome. Oh, I got to put all this back together again. Oh, brother. I forgot about this stuff. Put that back on. Oh, that's a little warm. Woohoo! Oh yeah, like a kid to candy store right now. I cannot believe it. 
It looks like I'm going to take this baby out in the field across the street and wake up the neighbors a little bit more. Yeah, they're probably getting pissed off. <sighs> That's one thing that sucks about living in town. Even though I have a, a decent backyard. But still, those neighbors, you know. I have a cop living up the street. I'm just waiting for the day he's going to say something. Because it's not quite 7 o'clock yet. 7 o'clock is my deadline anyways. Give them two hours of daylight almost. Without any noise. Alright. You got that hooked up. Ah, oh, boy. Now this body is going to be a bear. Putting on real quick. There's really no quick to it. I get over the filter, air filter first. Okay, I just want to run this tank of fuel out. Man, I hate this putting this on. You're going to hear me say that quite a bit. Okay, where's my, there they are down here. That lined up. And these front posts are a pain. You can hear the old servos in there. It's a brand new servo. That'll probably go dead again. Oh, God. Plus, when you're trying to hurry, you know, things never work out, right? You know, daylight is is going and you got the radio beeping at you. <laughs> oh my god, this is a pain in the ass. Alright, we're shutting it off. Alright. I guess we're not shutting it off yet. Boy, I need some light up in there. Get the drill out. <sighs> See, this drill makes a good light. Oh my god, that's way up in there. See how much pain in the ass this is? It's not fun putting it on. Definitely not fun at all. I like to rig something up differently. Ooh, that went right in this time. There we go. Alright. <laughs> what a pain. Oh my god, it's almost... There we go. There. Now we gotta put all these goddamn clips in. I just wanna run it before it gets dark. And before the neighbors start complaining. They said that fail safe works really well. I highly recommend that one from uh, Dynamet, I think it's called. You know, I know the Killer B is top notch or whatever, but any, any kill switch is better than no kill switch for these big babies. Because, boy, if you didn't have a kill switch on this, man, you're going to kill somebody. <laughs> Especially if they get hit with it full bore. You got a 30 some pound bullet coming at you. I already got hit once by the uh, oh the, the nitro there, the T Max back in the day. <laughs> it didn't feel too good. 
that's when I was starting out and stuff. Okay, we're getting there. We only got a hundred more clips to go. Turn around and get these. Holy smokes. Yes, I wish this was different. I just wonder if anybody else hating this too. But I shouldn't be having to take the body off all the time. And guess what, guys? Guess what? It's going to stay on the ground. <laughs> Alright, let's go. That's only about a quarter throttle. <laughs> Got a little boy over there looking. <laughs> I love it. See how close the neighbors are here? That's the other street. That'll give the kid a little show here. <laughs> He's loving it. pretty hot out here even though it's around seven o'clock it's still kind of hot uh, we still got a good half tank Everybody's looking. <laughs>
cop that lives up the street. <sighs> Ugh, that sucks. All right. That's a good enough run. <laughs> All right. All right, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again soon.